Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talks with Tomer, in which we talk with the builders in the Stellar ecosystem. I'm Tomer, VP Tech Strategy at the Stellar Development Foundation. And today, if you're serious about crypto and self-custody, you probably own a hardware wallet. And there's a good chance that hardware wallet is a ledger wallet. So today I have with me Fabrice Deltrian, head of developer ecosystem at Ledger. Hey Fabrice, did I say the name okay? Yeah, it was perfect. Thank you for having me today. I'm very glad to be here. Awesome, glad to have you too. So Fabrice, maybe to start out, you can tell us a bit about your personal journey and how you ended up in blockchain. Yeah, sure. Um, I think it all started around five years ago. Um, I don't remember exactly how I got into it. Uh, probably as you know, like many people, the prices fluctuations and I just decided to take a look. Probably lost a bit of money at the time as well. And, and just to convince myself that I'm not a complete loser, I actually looked into the tech. Uh, and you know, I'm an engineer, so that was my, my, my idea of getting into it was really to understand how, how all of these things work. Um, and I fell in love with it. Uh, and so around four years ago, uh, you know, Ledger is a French company and I just saw a job position and I said, okay, maybe I should actually apply for it. Uh, I didn't get selected first, uh, but then they called me back a few days later and, uh, and yeah, I started my real crypto journey uh, from the tech angle, from the product angle, uh, I would say four years ago when joining Ledger. Very cool. And I'm sure that our audience is pretty familiar with Ledger, but just to get on the same page, uh, what kind of products does Ledger offer? Yeah, well, Ledger is a, the security company first, okay? Um, we we designed um, a hardware wallet uh, that is, it's basically an electronic piece of equipment that helps you safeguard your secrets, whatever the secrets are. It just happens that in crypto, your secrets are fairly important because the, these are the way to access your money. Uh, and what we designed then was, um, you know, the form factor is like a USB key, um, but it's much more than that. It's actually a way to, to secure your private keys and execute code in a trusted environment. Meaning that what we offer to our users is the ability to self-custody their own funds and to be sure that whatever they do, when they transact, when they send money to their friends or to an exchange, or when they swap uh, through our products, that they can do it with the security of their hardware wallet by checking the information on their screen. So Ledger was funded in 2014. We released several, uh, I would say, iteration of our hardware wallet. Uh, and right now we have, I would say, uh, two main products that we offer, the Nano X and the Nano S Plus, uh, which are honestly a, a great success on the market. And I think Lead Ledger is, a, is the leader of the hardware wallet uh, industry today. And I hope for, for, uh, for a long time still. It's definitely uh, a favorite in, in, the, in the Stellar ecosystem, although I probably shouldn't say that. Um, so Ledger supports so many blockchains and so many assets. Um, like, How do you interface with developers? How do you manage to support so many blockchains and assets? It's, it's an excellent question. Um, well, when, when I joined Ledger, we had already quite a good relationships with, uh, with, with developers from the industry. Uh, and I think uh, the reason it, we had such a relationship was because back then we were already pretty much involved in discussing with them, helping them uh, secure the assets for their users. And so the idea from Ledger was since the beginning to say, this is a hardware wallet, this is a Ledger product, but it's super open to everyone. So if you, whoever you are, want to build uh, uh, an application that somehow leverage the ledger technology, you should be able to do it. So our hardware wallet actually allows you to run any kind of application. Could be, of course, a cryptocurrency application, but it could be a way for you to manage your passwords, or it could be uh, small games. We actually did that as well. Not really, you know, there is no real interest in running these games on a secure element, but it's possible. Um, and what we do is we we basically offer through uh, our developer portal and through Discord uh, our support to anyone who wants to, to work on Ledger products. The Hubble wallet is really just the first step. So if you want to do other things with Ledger, like integrating your protocol in Ledger Live or adding services uh, like, I don't know, on-ramp, off-ramp, or swapping uh, services on Ledger Live, it's also possible. So all of this, all of these interactions uh, really happen on Discord. So we have a Discord, uh, discord.gg slash ledger, uh, where there are, I would say, two, two, big, two big areas. One that is more 
user centric and one that is really, really developer centric. Uh, so if you're a developer and you want to talk with us, I really strongly invite you there. Awesome. And we've definitely seen, I think Le uh, Stellar has been live on, the, on Ledger, uh, the hardware wallet since uh, early 2018. So really one of the first hardware wallets. And this is not work that we did in the SDF. This is people contributed code from the ecosystem, which yes. is very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I was actually looking at who did the application back then. I don't, I don't know. I, I have the GitHub handle. I have some very old conversation. I think the guy is not maintaining it anymore. Some other people took over. And that's the beauty of the open source uh, mindset. You know, anyone can actually chip in and help either improve or verify or, uh, or audit the application. The source code is available on GitHub. So anyone can chip in. But you're absolutely right. The Stellar application is one of the oldest. It's also one of the, I would say, the, the, the most useful in terms of, uh, of signature and, and security because you can really do a lot of things with the Stellar application, whether it is opening trust line or sending, uh, sending assets or even swapping. Uh, a lot of things are actually uh, clear signed on the device, which is pretty cool. And it's compatible with a bunch of services, as you as you know already, and not only Ledger. <laughs> right, and this is why I think Ledger is so popular in our ecosystem. We have this um, kind of like protocol. Um, all the protocol features are available pretty much, so I can do like AMM swaps uh, and and approve them them on my Ledger device, which is really really cool. And this is thanks to uh, an ecosystem developer called Overcat who's been maintaining the, the ledger um, like firmware recently. We also recently Thanks. added um, Stellar Assets on Ledger Live, which Iveta from the SDF worked on, one of our senior front end engineers. So uh, there's really like a, a, a great um, kind of like culture of open source contribution. I'm sure there are challenges associated with getting open source contributions um, and 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 uh, basically communicating with all these developers. Can you share some of these challenges? And uh, specifically, one of the things that interests me the most is what is your approach to security? Okay, um, I would say security is one angle. The other one is the communication, uh, and I think we 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 didn't always uh, do a great job in communicating about how open we are, and what does it mean when you actually build an application and Ledger releases it. So we are right now trying to explain it a bit better. And, and you know, the, the assets that we added on Ledger Live for Stellar is, is really an example of that. Um, the first thing is people get onboarded, read the documentation very early, they understand, okay, I can build this. And then what happens? How do I submit my application to Ledger? Uh, whether it is an, a nano application for the Ledger Hubble wallet or whether it is a pull request on the Ledger Live code base, which is also open source, all the processes are described, but very quickly, the, que the question is, who is responsible for what? Uh, because even if it's open source, at the end of the day, we need people to help either maintain or solve bugs, and we need to have some kind of ownership. Um, and, and Ledger position on this is, is quite clear, actually. The people building the app are responsible for the app. Ledger is responsible for the security. So what we do, uh, and to answer your question, is we actually perform a security audit, uh, plus, a, of course, a functional audit of the application. So it's both working and secure. Um, we, we didn't have a lot of work to do on the, on the actual Stella application, um, but that's what we do with all the application that released on the on the on the ledger store. I would say uh, we call it the manager, but uh, that's uh, that's effectively something that is required if you want your application to be published and advertised publicly. Got it. Um, so switching gears a bit, I I looked through my inbox uh, at our history of communication, um, and you said you joined Ledger in 2018, I think, and we've been talking since 2019. Uh, at one point, it was about Vault. I think when you launched Ledger Live, we were talking about. Um, I was you were saying, hey, we're getting all these hits on our XLM page. Uh, we really want to see Stellar on on Ledger Live. I hope I'm not disclosing anything that I shouldn't. Um, so you you've been through a lot in in uh, in these past four years. Yeah. How have things Why changed? <laughs> How have things changed and evolved over the years for Ledger? Um. So I think back in the days when we were discussing, indeed, we were discussing the B two B part of Ledger, Ledger Vault. Um, and then I was probably trying to invite you somehow to add Stella on Ledger Live. 
uh, you know, back then it was kind of, a, I think we were already in a, in a very hard bear market. Uh, it was a, a strong crypto winter. So everyone was trying to, to find resources wherever, wherever they could. Uh, and so the idea was, was always the same, was to have people and mostly people involved in, in crypto projects build on Ledger because Ledger cannot do everything. We cannot do everything by ourselves. Um, and so what changed, of course, is that since then, a lot of things changed. First of all, on the B2B side, we added uh, Stella XLM support. Uh, it's been live for at least a couple of months now, even more than that. Um, so this is a, this is a huge success, uh, but we also added Stella on uh, Ledger Live, though this was a work that uh, Ledger did. Uh, we, did we did it ourselves. I think uh, we did it at least two years ago, and then we updated the way we supported um, Stella by changing, I would say, the underlying wallet engine. Um, so there was some technical evolution, nothing really visible uh, to the end user, but for us, it, it allowed a lot more things to happen. And specifically, it allowed us to say to external people uh, outside Ledger, hey, now it's actually something you can understand and build on. So what you referred to um, you know, with the addition of, of the USDC asset on Ledger Live recently is exactly this. Um, I don't remember when it started, but uh, we were in discussion with, with folks from the SDF team and uh, and. And at some point, I don't remember how it, it came, but the question was, why don't we add a Stella Digital Asset on, on, on Ledger Live? And we said, you know what? Now that we upgraded our wallet engine, it's actually something you can do yourself. Uh, and you don't need Ledger to do this. You can actually contribute to the Ledger Live source code. Of course, there are a bunch of requirements. There are a bunch of guidelines that you need to follow. Uh, but basically, uh, yeah, the team did it. Uh, and so this is actually not a ledger work. This is entirely done uh, by, by people from the Stellar team. And, uh, and we started with USDC. I don't know what will be next, but you know, we could do a lot more things. Some things that Ledger did actually is we, we enabled uh, some currency. Uh, you know, we, I think we can, uh, we can probably buy through, through some, some of our partners, USDC uh, on the Stellar chain. Um, so these these are stuff that Ledger enabled, but the actual protocol support is uh, was coded by the, the Stellar team themselves, and that's really new. I would say it's it's something that Ledger was not able to offer one year and a half ago, but we we, we worked really strongly on this part so that anyone can actually build on Ledger. So I'm actually um, wondering what is next. Uh, we should probably discuss more because now we have USDC, but why not add more assets? Because it's essentially just adding you know, pointers to, 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 the, to the asset itself, and it should be supported, uh, provided the, the quality is okay. Yeah, uh, and basically all the infrastructure is there, so it's just a matter of, of whitelisting assets um, on your wallets. Uh, so I'm sure you'll be hearing from a lot of issuers in the Stellar ecosystem looking to, to whitelist their asset, which is pretty awesome. Um, and you know, like I said before, the fact that um, you have all of these protocol features available in the hardware wallets mean that they could also be available through the, uh, the software. So things like claimable balances, things like uh, swaps. Um, uh, and by the way, AMM swaps were available on the Ledger hardware wallet uh, at launch, which is like pretty massive because I think in the past it took some time from the time uh, like a protocol was released until it was supported in Ledger. And now with all this ecosystem engagement and, and how things move uh, in the Ledger side, we can actually uh, update things as they come, which is pretty awesome. Um, and probably the biggest thing that we've got going in the Stellar ecosystem right now is we're building a new uh, smart contracts engine into uh, Stellar. It's called Soroban, uh, aiming for a release end of this year, early next year. Um, and I'm really looking forward to collaborating with Ledger on exposing these features uh, initially on the hardware wallet and, and as much as we can in live as well. Yeah, definitely. And, and as you, you know, properly said, it's important that we start with the hardware wallet because um, Ledger Live is one software and we are definitely addressing uh, a lot of users, um, but still the security lies on the hardware wallet part. But that's uh, when I talk about it, I always mention the, the, you know, the blockchain pyramid, that's the first level, that's the foundation. You need support on the hardware wallet before doing anything else. But once you have this, this layer handled, uh, basically you can open up a, a lot more ideas, features, or services on top of that. And so, yeah, definitely uh, super, super open to discuss it. I don't know exactly what the implications uh, of this new framework will be, uh, but uh, yeah, we should, uh, we should tackle it as, uh, as early as possible. Awesome. Uh, so what's next for the Ledger ecosystem or specifically what, what's, um, uh, what are you excited about? 
what are we excited about? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, I cannot say too much, but you know, at the end of the year, we'll have this uh, event that we call Ledger Open, uh, where basically, for sure, there will be some major announcements. Um, and um, what else? We're following, uh, I think uh, a lot of things are, are happening right now in the ecosystem. Of course, you, you heard about the merge on Ethereum, so that's something that had us you know, quite worried. Uh, we need to be ready, uh, things must not break. Um, I think the effort on, on, on my side and with my team is really to try to, to continue to expand this idea of Ledger is a platform now. Uh, you should not consider Ledger as only your product you can use. It's really more like a platform on which you can build. And so our, our ambition is really to, to spread the word here and, and explain to anyone in the crypto industry Security is important. Whatever you're trying to build, security is important. Whether you're a swap provider or uh, or, or even a wallet, whatever wallet you, you want to build or, or browser extension, at some point in the blockchain, you will have to sign messages and secure keys. Um, think about Ledger at that time. Um, recently, there was a, a problem on some wallets. I will not quote them, but uh, on Solana, for instance. Um, and you know, it's a shame because we know now after several years of this kind of things happening, we know how to actually prevent that from happening. Um, so one mission I think uh, my team and I have, we, we have is to really try to have ledger support from day one on whatever service is launching uh, because it's too risky. It's, it's really, uh, it's bad for everyone in the, in the industry when these kind of things happen. Uh, it, it's in the media, it's, it's everywhere. And uh, we don't need that and we actually have solutions already and ledger is of course a solution i will promote but even if i want to take a step back on this one i would say just don't go soft only just try any hardware wallet is better than nothing and then when you have to make a choice think about ledger yeah i think if i look specifically at, at that wallet that was hacked i think you know last year there was this explosion of new users in the crypto world and uh people that don't necessarily like understand what what self custody actually means and what and what private keys mean and uh, and yeah that was a pretty um, sad event uh, but uh, hopefully hopefully people learn the future um, awesome thank you so much so just to wrap things up if uh, people want to uh, follow you and learn about you or or Ledger where where should they go. Well, ledger.com is the main website where you'll find any information about our products. Um, if you are a developer specifically, you should go to our developer portal, uh, developers.ledger.com. There you will find everything, okay, from building a nano application to you know having your protocol supported on Ledger Live or even services. Um, you will find the link to Discord as well, uh, and of course you should you know follow us on Twitter. I think I don't know why, but the entire crypto industry is on Twitter. Uh, and, and so if you want to hear about the, the latest news from Ledger, uh, yeah, you should definitely follow our, our official account. Awesome. And I can attest that you guys are super responsive on Discord and it's, uh, it's a pleasure talking with you there. Thanks. So that's a wrap. Thank you so much for being with us and have a great Thank rest you. of your day. Yeah, you too. Thank you.